very happy to see you now are healthy and then there deliver the great speech to us. And now I'll go straight with my evaluation and later I will mix my I'll mix talking about your advantages with some of my suggestions to you. Okay? And so let's talk about your first advantage. I think you had a poise hand to write down those beautiful sentences to describe your meaningful uh, memories to us. And I cannot memorize clearly all those words you use, but I think we can all have the impression that the words you use to describe the sky, the scenery, the atmosphere, or the thought you had were very beautiful. And I think that was a good point. However, here comes my suggestion. He, the audience who possess the general English ability, such as I do, cannot easily understand your vocabularies within maybe 0 0.1 milliseconds. What's a little bit worse is that you talk a little bit too fast. I've always recommended speakers that to speak a little bit slowly, because to have pause in a speech, is to let the audience have time to give you a response. They might laugh, or they might smile, or they might yo for you. But if you just talk too fast, they don't have the time, and because they have to catch up your next content. Okay? But you might say it, you just have too many contents to distribute. I know every part is your well, very precious memory. You, you just don't want to abandon any of them. However, I still say you have to decrease some of the content so that you can speak slowly, okay? So the second part, I'll talk, uh, tell you the, my suggestion first. When you were on the stage at first, you told the timer not to come a time for you because you want everyone to sit closer. Actually, according to the rule, when you do a gesture, or you just slip a little bit voice, that time, at that time, the counter should count your time. So you actually cannot do that, but maybe you can like play a drama to 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 tell the audience that hey, come come closer, because I'm not going to use the microphone and I'm going to tell you the story about my my experience on the Mount Jay. Okay. Uh, okay, now I'll go quickly with your structure, which is the, the main project in speech, in speech to speech. Well, you t told us the asthma first, and then it's about the Mission Impossible to, to climb on the Mount Jay. Then you have a very good point, it's the turning point. The turning point was you couldn't go any further to, to the peak, right? I think to have a turning point in speech is very important because your your story was n not like a straight line. You just you, you your story was not like a straight line to climb up to the peak and then yeah, so happy I made it. Then the story, the speech comes to the end. Your story was not like this way. Instead, you just yeah, you couldn't go it and the time well the. The, the memory, the scene you saw outside the villa, the beautiful star in the sky was the most precious, was more precious to you and to the audience. You made the audience to think in a different part. And at last, you talk about your father, the father, your father's love and what your father has taught you to be in your conclusion. I think that's very good. Even though it's maybe two days later, it's the Mother's Day, I think you can still tell your father that you love him. He'll, he'll be very happy. And yeah, happy. <laughs>